What's amazing is that these connections, this movement, started with just one person, with a freed child slave who worked in a carpet factory in Pakistan. 15 years ago, Free the Children started because of a hero of mine, a young boy named Iqbal Masih. He chose to stand up and he chose to speak out. When Iqbal was only four years old, he was sold into slavery. His freedom was stripped away from him. He worked hours upon hours, tying thousands of tiny knots every single day, weaving carpets until he was 10 years old. And at that point, he escaped. But his own freedom wasn't enough. He chose to stand up. He chose to speak out. He would stand in front of audiences, holding a carpet tool in one hand and a pencil in the other, and said every child should have the right to hold a pencil and no one should ever be forced to hold a tool. When he was, when he was 12 years old, he returned home to Pakistan and riding his bike in front of his house. At the age of 12, he was assassinated. He was killed because he stood up, because he spoke out. And I looked at my life 15 years ago. I was also 12 years old. I looked at the similarities and our age, but everything else was so different between us. I felt angry. I knew I wanted to help. I thought maybe if Iqbal stood up, if Iqbal spoke out, so could I. And if any of you have ever wanted to take action, but have felt afraid, I know how you feel. Standing in front of my class, my hands were sweating. I was physically shaking when I said the words, will you join me? And 11 hands went up. Together, we stood up. Together we spoke out and Free the Children was born.